The farm is a beautiful farm. It's been in my wife's family for over a hundred years. Ownership of some of this land in the Silver family uh, dates back to pre-Civil War times. So uh, a lot of a lot of history and family here for for my wife. I'm the interloper. <laughs> My name's Al Bain. Uh, first full name's Albert, but around here on the farm, everybody calls me Ducky. That's my farm nickname. I've been doing woodworking since at this level uh, for about 40, 45 years, but I've always been involved with woodworking ever since I could hold a hammer and a screwdriver because my dad taught me and let me help him do projects. Uh, he didn't have a lot of tools. Uh, you know, hammers, screwdrivers, hand saws, chisels. He taught me a lot. He taught me most of the basic woodworking uh, fundamentals. He was handy. He was uh, very handy. And he tried to get my brothers and myself um, to teach us so that we would know how to repair things. Um, on the woodworking side, I just, I really fell in love with, with working with wood under his teaching. How much you could do with wood and how beautiful it could be. You could take a, a, a ugly stick and shape it and uh, plane it and finish it. And it could be a beautiful walking stick. You could make lumber out of it and make boxes. I love making little boxes. Uh, we didn't have the exotic woods that, that you can get today. Um, mostly it was pine and oak, but uh, even those, if you treated them properly, uh, could generate very beautiful pieces. The equipment I have now allows me to take a raw piece of wood, and by raw I mean rough cut from a lumber mill. I can now plane them down smooth, I can cut them to size, I can do different treatments to them, put them together, sand them, and put finish on them. I can pretty much handle everything. I could, I could actually go out and cut a tree down, not a real big one, but a tree down, and cut it into boards myself. Uh, but that's too, too much, too intensive, uh, and I'm not strong anymore. I'm getting old, so I. I don't do that, but uh, I could do that. I could actually go cut down a tree and with the equipment I have, I could turn it into boards um, and make, make things from it. I, I love making things. Um, I'm an engineer, retired, but an engineer that did designs and had structures built based on my designs, and I love doing that. I love creating things. I, I love the, the look and feel of wood. 
um, when it's been properly treated. I, I guess the, the reward I get from it is that it lets me relax. When I was an engineer, uh, the company I was with was a very high intensity job. A lot of client demands. I had multiple clients. I would come home some nights um, and could have chewed nails because of the uh, interactions with clients or other workers, other employees, co-workers. So doing woodworking was a, a way of relaxing and using my hands just seemed to give me a real connection with the wood. That's the other nice thing about having done, having been involved in woodworking is that I, I'm helping other people do things. It would never have been a full-time occupation for me. It's, it's definitely a hobby. Um, not one that I'm trying to get rich with, uh, but it's something I just want to keep doing as long as I can.